till what extent will augmented reality be in use by the end of the decade what kind of modifications will augmented reality have and will india use it in the military so what is augmented reality first of all we have to understand that augmented reality is different from virtual reality virtual reality uh, virtual reality is an immersive experience in which you shut out the real world and you get immersed in a fake make believe world so it's like those virtual reality headsets that you wear in which you go into a different world altogether a digital world an electronic world which is totally different from the real world augmented reality is certain visual aids etc that you wear and they superimpose more information on the actual world so maybe you wear certain kinds of glasses or whatever and when you walk around it tells you the name of every building tells you the name of every street it tells you the name of every individual is walking on the street it tells you the the make of every car and vehicle that's going on the street etc so that is augmented reality you get more information just by wearing that particular device so that is something that is slowly coming up you had google glass for example then you have these devices uh, these gaming devices what is it called pokemon go or something i've never played it but i'm aware of it <laughs> and so on so it is definitely something that has a great deal of real world use yeah and uh, so it could be very much uh, more advanced by the end of the decade it may possibly be available to the common people out there certain devices certain kinds of glasses that you wear which give you a great deal of information so you don't have to ask for directions and so on there is a possibility uh so it's all about getting information in real time which is superimposed on the world so what kind of modifications will we have we will have different kinds of wearable devices perhaps audio devices perhaps the most extreme modification you can think of is you know, neural chips like neuralink etc <coughs> excuse me implanted chips uh, chips in, inside your brain itself which will give you a uh, which may be linked to external devices etc and which may which may give you information in real time so you don't have to wear something and yet in your field of vision you see all this extra data so if you have seen these various science fiction movies like terminator when you see that this guy is walking around the terminator robot and he's able to see information in real time superimposed on the view of the world so that sort of thing could be possible if you have these implantable chips which are implanted into the brain so that is one modification i can think of so people are going to come up with all these different modifications and different uses of this very nascent technological field it definitely has a great deal of use in the military you have uh, for example fighter pilots helicopter pilots who wear these uh, augmented reality helmets and in a helicopter pilot for example in the apache attack helicopter or even the indian light combat helicopter they can target their weapons that they can target their guns and missiles just by turning their head and wherever is this field of vision wherever the center of vision in the augmented reality helmet that is where the gun is going to fire or the missile is going to fire so it makes it very easy to fire at a target just by looking there that's it and you also get various other information in in the uh in the headset in the helmet so this is what fighter pilots are currently using fighter pilots and helicopter pilots in combat situations soon you will have soldiers infantry soldiers etc who will also use these things so it will definitely be used in the military more and more india is already using it i think in the light combat helicopter and also in the avionics uh suite of the light combat aircraft the lca tejas so it is even it will definitely the the kind of use it has in the military will definitely uh it will become more and more complex and it will become more and more an integral part of the military so that is definitely something that is already happening it's going to happen further